little switch up here. So this is coming from Joy McVeigh, one of my pat patrons on Patreon. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for a while. I'm getting it done before February. I promised I would. I've had issues with having time to record and stream. So I'm kind of going to utilize my time. <laughs> you know, she's been she's brought me down this this rabbit hole of watching you, which I've really been enjoying a young, young, young performer that, you know, has really caught my attention, not because of how young he is, but also the immense talent he has. She requested this. I wanted to read what you said because you usually give pretty good breakdowns of the songs and what they mean. I'm talking at the beginning where he explains the motivation for the song. He's been extremely close to his fans since day one, and he's composed a couple of songs specifically for his fans to sing along with. Why Nobody Fights in Aliens, but for this song, Conversation with Children of Mars, he and his fans wrote it together, and it actually is a conversation between them. She also linked me in a music video to watch my own time. That's really cool. That's, honestly, I don't think I've ever heard of an artist that has let their fans help them write a song. That's really unique. That's really cool. It shows that not only do they care about their fans, but they're willing to let them have kind of a say in the writing, right? Uh, so this is Conversations with Children of Mars by Hua Chen Yu, and this is Mars Concert from 2019. All right. Those of you that don't know, I do have a Patreon. You can definitely check out my cool content there. Uh, it's not expected or required, but it does help the channel out a lot. Uh, and I, you know, I greatly appreciate the support. But again, totally understand if you can't. That's where this came from. Obviously, if you are a patron, you get first dibs on reactions. And then after that, it's everybody else. So really do appreciate it. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it. There we go. Got it. Why Nobody Fight? 是通过我们, uh, okay, so we can see the because I feel it's important. Sorry, she reminded me to put post caption on. Why Nobody Fight? 当时呢其实是我刚刚出道也有一点点不太适应这个行业我就觉得我应该写一首就是不太像我的性格。然后我就觉得，嗯。A couple things. One, Joint Dale, welcome in. Glad to see you. He struggles with his own mental health and has always been very open about it and way of helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've noticed that. I, I think, obviously, I could say listening, but technically reading. But reading what he's saying here, right? I totally get it, especially considering that how young he is. 2019 was he like 24 25 right my opinion that's young i know it's only 10 years younger than me but i, I couldn't imagine seeing this sold out sold out crowd like this at the age of 24 i don't know if i would be able to handle that right 
to be confused about going into this industry, going into the industry already confused, not knowing how to navigate it, all that stuff. Like I understand that 100%. The fact that he could lean on the fans and the fans kept him going is really cool. I honestly think that's very much so a kind of a thing that, and it's not essentially the same, but kind of a thing that I go through with the channel and I'm going to make, make this quick, but is hearing all the great things you guys say to my reactions, I'll post the reaction and absolutely hate how I reacted to it. And then you guys will tell me how great the reaction was, one of your favorites, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll really love one and you guys won't like it, right? Obviously there's times where we align, but it's kind of a crapshoot in terms of what's going to be well-received and what's not. So you guys kind of keep the channel going and keep me motivated. So um i totally understand his perspective on that all right let's keep going and i'm only doing the small cam for his so you guys can read the subtitles after that i'll go back into the regular camera so 2013 so yeah 10 years ago 10 years ago so he was this is what five years ago now so he was 28 that's still pretty young in my opinion to already have like and you're saying it skyrocketed for it to be like Nothing to like this. Pretty crazy to me. Um, but let's keep going. Hollywood 我比快男时期的样子 我想开始跟大家分享我的喜怒哀乐 For those of you that don't know, his fans are called Martians. That's why you see that here. Joint Dale, sorry, I wanted to to let that finish. I appreciate you, Joint Dale. If 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 you do request, that means a lot to me. Thank you. For the sake of timing, I wanted to speed that up a little bit. I wanted to hear it because it's important. And the fact that he's being so vulnerable with his fans is pretty cool. But it looks like we're gonna get into the song now. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes. Come <laughs> 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 Piano's crazy. 
看着努力，却还有些拒绝和懒惰。着坚强，却还有些脆弱和疑惑。那些脆弱的回忆，我仍然记得你。It may seem that I am strong, yet I'm still vulnerable and confused at times. I do feel like that can sometimes be a Cliche, right? It's like, oh, the funniest or the happiest people are always the ones that are going through the most. But I really do think it rings true a lot. I do like too that I don't know if it's him that wrote that part or the Martians, but saying that like those vulnerabilities and your confusion, they always have their own significance. They're also important just because they make you feel like shit, just because they make you feel bad. They're still important. They're an important part of of navigating through it, right? Yeah, the mental aspect of his his writing is really cool. Obviously, his voice. Amazing, very calm, very tonally sound, very tonally, you know, straightforward. I've said this before. You don't have to be chinchilla all the time, right? You can be very stoic, very casual with your singing, and it still sound great if the song calls for it. Look away. There we go. Okay, here we go. The song's very like melodic and slow, right? Um, I've mentioned before that the straight poppy tunes I'm not a huge fan of. However, however, I think the problem I have with those songs is they're usually like normally they're about like love loss and all that stuff. Like it's it's oh it's outplayed most of those songs, right? And I'm generalizing a bit, but I do like songs that I resonate more with. And this is one of those, right? He's talking again, like those vulnerabilities, con those confusions. There was something else. I cannot touch that pain. Where was it? It may seem that I am persistent, yet I may give up and stay detached at times. Boy, do I resonate with that. Uh, those abandonment and detachments let you be you. You know, I, I have a huge issue of when I'm in it, whether it is being an anxiety attack, stressed out, depressed, to where I detach from everybody around me instead of leaning on them. And that's something that I have an issue with. That's something that I have to kind of figure out. I definitely do at times, um, I, I do that. I 100% do a detach and stuff. And it's true, it lets you work through it. It lets you be you, right? Uh, and I think that is how a lot of us go through some of those things. Um, there's a lot of vulnerability in this song, man. And it definitely, I feel this resonates with a lot of people. Obviously, the Martians helped them write this, right? So 
millions of people resonate with it, obviously. But I, 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 I miss more artists talking about things like this. It's one of the reasons that we love Ren is because he talks about this. Joint tail, I don't see it yet, but let's continue. Whenever I'm still waiting, willing to reach out, whenever I'm still willing to reach out and get closer, right? That's what we just talked about. At some point, you have to be a shadow will estrange me. So then the darkness is going to come and keep you from doing that. Man, this is, it's kind of insane to me to think that they're kind of like writing love notes to each other, right? His fans and himself. And to know that they have his back, I'm sure like got him through a lot. I mean, it's not, I'm sure he's saying that. It's kind of a beautiful sentiment though. Like it's almost like, you know, back in the olden days, people used to like write letters to each other, like pen pals, right? I feel like that's in a song here and they're, his music is keeping them afloat and their love for him is keeping him afloat. Powerful, man. Like it kind of shows you how much some people rely on their fan bases and it's why a lot of people can kind of get brought down by hate. They rely so much on people think of their craft because that's they give their all to their craft. And when people start hating, it starts affecting them in negative ways. It's nice to see that they had his back and kept him going.
stage is so cool. And the ending kind of got me my feels, you know, he stopped singing and everybody's singing that they love you, you know, I feel like so many people, I don't want to get into this whole realm of, of it, but I feel like so many people, especially like, I'm going to leave it at that. So many people need to sometimes just hear that we hear you. We love you. You're doing a great job. Like, I know that sounds kind of like weak that people need to hear that. But for instance, like I'm in a lot of like dad groups or like, you know, I follow a lot of in dad groups on Instagram and the amount of dads that come into the comments and some of those that are like, if only I could hear once that like, you know, my wife's proud of me or like, I feel like us men specifically are very much so like lack that because of society, because of people who just because of culture, our culture here and, and how society tells us to be that we're not allowed to feel. We don't need to hear those things. We just need to be strong, big, strong man, fucking human, man. We need to hear these things too sometimes to get us through the day. Some days I'm fine. I don't need to hear anything. I'm good. Some, but other days I definitely would definitely help hearing that. He had a lot of critics and people who have attacked his career and take him down is crazy. He and his fans interact a lot on social media too. It's one of those things where like, it's, it's, make or break for him, right? Because if his fans, for some reason, decide to turn on him for whatever reason, not that they have a reason to, but it definitely could have literally ended him, right? Uh, so it's definitely something that he benefited from and I'm, I'm all for that. I definitely got emotional at the end though, hearing them say, and you could see it in his face that he wanted to too, but he didn't. But Joy, I appreciate that very much. So that was really, like I said, even though the, the music itself might not be something I'm into. It's the message of the song that makes me like the song. Um, I really like this guy's voice. I like his talent. I like his story. And I think the fact that he speaks openly about mental health is where I'm very, very much so proud of that for him and, and like that. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Joy.